one season Sabonis and Adams in Oklahoma City. Jeremy Lamb was quiet in Milwaukee and he starts with a three. I've got to be a factor Chris because he was not an impact in the game in Milwaukee. Williamson and at the rim scores. Turner looked like he had a piece of it. He but got both hands on it. Bledsoe and Ball each hit seven threes. Mm. And Ball scoots in. Bob, anyone that's had that job knows you, you've got to teach young players that defense is a lot more important than they normally give it credit for. And that's Williamson again. Against Kentucky, he had 28 points back on November 6, 2018. As Duke beat Kentucky 118-84. Oh. Pacers have to go to work, and it's Lamb with a long three. He banks it in. Well, that's a heck of a bank because he was getting a screen from Sabonis, but every now and then you've got to have a little luck, Chris. A, little... a block shot in every game for Miles Turner this year. He, you can see he's intent on being a factor is Jeremy Lamb. They're covering more for each other. In the first couple games of the season, when this team was struggling, that would have Count been it. a bucket. Count it. Accept the contact and Finish. play through it. Early on that have a pair of 20-point scores. And Sabonis, he won't miss that. Yeah, but Jeremy Lamb caused the play, turning the corner to force the help from Adams. Ingram, free throw line. Bledsoe the drive, and Bledsoe the score. Just a little over 13 per game on the year. Bledsoe in his first season in New Orleans. And Brogdon easily to the basket. That's a play. And just starts hard and come, makes, comes back. Is able to make a play. Now Bledsoe hits a three, and that's from Williamson. And now Sabonis. Don't let him get, get that big body on you. That's a new move that he makes consistently that he, he's had. Bledsoe fires it out to Ball, and now Ingram in the corner for three. But it got caused because of the rotation. Andy Gill was talking about the rotation because they were worried about Reserve in. He's guarding Bledsoe. Williamson comes out to set the screen. And he glides to the basket, Ingram. Last three wins, New Orleans averaging 126. Step back three, Holiday. This time it's good. He's got to deal with Ingram giving up some size. He changes direction as good as anybody with that size, Chris. Because what you have is now Miles' is full time center, both at the offensive and defensive end. Holiday just couldn't stop Williamson getting to the rim on that. Josh Hart is in. Oh, nice pass, McConnell to Turner. Very good read. He saw Josh Hart on the backside, who really couldn't help that 6-3. A battle all kinds of injuries, and he has been brilliant this year. 24 points, 8 rebounds. Turner in the post, and he jumps it in over Billy Hernan Gomez. Brogdon turns the corner. McConnell. Now a little runner in the lane. Doesn't often see him do that without putting it on the backboard, so that's a heck of a shot he made. Ingram had 31 against the Pacers back in January. Williamson had 24. Lamb is back in, and his little runner in the lane. He's got a 10-point first quarter. Finding a way is McConnell. Is that the shot you're talking about? Yes. Nikhil Alexander-Walker in his second year out of Virginia Tech has the ball. He's at a 37-point game this year, and he's right to the rim. Defensively here, they've gone to a little more active 2-3 zone, almost like a matchup. And by a matchup, they're basically like man-to-man -to -man defense. But that may be the toughest shot he can take, and he made it. Looked like he was going to use his left and opted for his right over Hernan Gomez as Hart throws it in off the glass. Understanding what Sabonis wants to do and what he's good at. Take it away his strength. Let McConnell shoot. Say it again, Breeze. Joe. Say it again. He's yes. two of seven. He's 29 percent. And he was able to get himself to the middle where they got some to make some plays. Again, matchup zone. He's a three-point shooter. Yeah, he's a three-point shooter. So you've got to know where your shooters are. They had they at every level. You college basketball, high school. You had the possession arrow. You still have the jump ball in the NBA. Redick, and he's hit two. 
Bonus backs his way in against Hernan Gomez. He was falling backwards and shot an air ball. He, he got, wanted a foul. He got help. I thought, yeah, I thought he got help. Oh. And Williamson. That three is short. Hernan Gomez tips it out. Reddick was looking. Splits the defense. Picked off by Lamb and McDermott. Nice job by Rant, uh, McDermott and Lamb to get out there. Williamson blocked it. Sabonis got it back. Determination. McConnell to the Ooh, basket. He had a layup. And Get McDermott. Out. I mean, he literally was at the rim, Chris, and all he had to do was lay it up. He was so intent on finding McDermott. But you'll take the three-pointer. The ball literally should sit on the palm of your hand. The ball rolls down. I mean, you keep your fingers cupped. It rolls down beneath there. And he, he just fell asleep, and Miles Turner took advantage of it. Getting good games out of Turner and Lamb to start. Ingram. That's tough for Sabonis to guard. Shot clock at four. He looked at the other end. He knows how much time is on the clock. Yeah, he looked at the clock on the other end and, and realized what he and he knew he had McDermott on him. That's why Ingram didn't rush because he just got size. Brogdon clears, scores with a left hand right side. Good to see quickness down there. Mm. And that's put in by Adams. My, because Miles Turner had to back off knowing he has two fouls. It got held up in the corner because uh, as the play was coming on the side out of bounds, uh, Brandon, I mean, the, the team anticipated, New Orleans anticipated. And Ingram and the Pelicans have a nine-point lead. Ingram. Ball fake having made that three-point shot in the corner. Turner out of the game. Ingram gets to the rim. That, that, just, that stuff just happens for him. Pacers trying to find a way to get going See, offensively he, here. Brogdon. He went under the screen and he got there and he shot it. And now Turner is open for three. Great that's effort there. Justin Holiday out of the other corner. Pops that one. And that's why Sam Van Gundy takes the timeout. Oh. Simply, we don't want to give up the easy ones and we want to get easy ones ourselves. This is a tough two game stretch. Milwaukee and New Orleans, top two teams in the league in second chance points. That three does go down for the Pelicans, but so far, nine second chance points for the Pacers, just five for the Pelicans. And Brogdon, a little runner in the lane. Soft touch coming on that runner. Seven points, five rebounds, four assists for Domas. And ball gets inside. Pacers trailed the majority of the second quarter by as many as 10. That's an air ball that generally is found by the offense that Eric Blitzel just shot. Brogdon gets inside, scores again. That's three third quarter field goals. And a really good look. Steven Adams, second chance opportunity. Zion shares it. Ingram, high percentage. Man, he's playing really well. That's why you're in the league. You, you've got those tough times, tough opp but you get opportunity there, too. Oh, boy. Adams again, Chris, with an old savvy play. And, and there really is no explanation for it. I mean, I think you could say something about training camp and those kind of things as Brockton knocks down the shot. But everybody's got to go through the same thing. I like the patience. He he had to shoot it because they were coming off him to try to get to uh, Sabonis. Ingram answers with a three. It's, it'll be one of the great experiences of their, of their life. Unfortunately, the Pacers are a big part of that. The Pacers and the Fever are sponsors of high school basketball. The state finals as Stephen Adams an offensive rebound advantage for New Orleans. McDermott. Hits his second three. It's a bonus set of screen. I mean, I'm looking at Brandon Ingram. His his left shoulder. And with a left hand, McConnell misses. Hart inside. Well, he changed it a little Euro. Goga's got to block it. He's got to get to that one. And they've got 63 with two and a half left in this third. And an 18-point Pelicans lead. Um, they have just bottled the Pacers up. 
And finally, a basket by Holiday. That one, this was running a play here. Holiday again for three. Got it. Went, okay, it worked out. But Doug McDermott was running a play when he had a shot, and it would be good to get him going. Four of 11 in the third quarter, and that's Goga with a nice defensive play. Holiday stepping into one again. Yeah, but give his brother Aaron the, as much credit as anything because he forced the action and they couldn't get to Justin Holiday in that corner. Fourth time this year that Justin's made four threes and Hernan Gomez has his first basket. Five seconds. Pacers would love a three. Bataze. Does it go in? It does! Goga got the extra bounce. Aaron Holiday, first basket. They came over the top, and Aaron was down. The screen was low, Chris. Like the pressure. But that small lineup, the only person out there big is Goga. Redick has hit three of them. Coming in, mired in a 30% from three-point range shooting slump. Batase hits his second. Good for him. You gotta be happy for him, Chris. I feel confident when I say it too, that's why I say it. <laughs> Aaron Holiday. Count three more. Slowed down dramatically in the offensive end. The pace. Right. Big keel. There you go. 15 footer. That shot right there. there. You go. That's the shot that I'm talking about right there. Chris, but I think it equally as important, and as part of that, this group has done a good job of getting the Pacers back in striking distance because you don't have any one of the starters on the floor. Nine of 16 from three. The Pacers are from three and a half. Holiday's hit four of those. Good, solid defense and a good recovery. He makes a tough shot again. Aaron Holiday gets inside. Oh, finds what a McConnell. terrific play. He shoots Looks good. and hits a three. Third of the year for TJ. Magnified defensively and offensively. Good play, Billy Hernan Gomez, but McConnell is the recipient. Batanza in the reverse. Smart play by the big guy. Great pass. Batanza again. He's got 10. Yeah, but a really good job. You're gonna have to go help here. Ball for three hits another. That's a risk you. That's a risk you take. Justin Holiday for another yes. three. Great read. I love. Look at the, everybody's fighting up defensively, Chris. And Ingram with a tough shot. Holiday to McDermott. I love it. I love the scramble. I love the scramble, Chris. Everybody's driving and kicking. And I'll tell you what's interesting here. A chance to do some real good here. Holiday the steal. Pacers have a chance to tie go. or take the lead. McDermott. The, the Pacers have the lead. Nate Bjorkman stays with the five who have brought him back. That's great confidence. You gotta love the fact that you did that. That's, that's a tough shot. I mean, I, I applaud Nate uh, Bjorkman for doing that. Are they a little, you know, a little oily, a little cranky? They normally run a lot of minutes. Another three? Yes, sir. Seven of them for Justin Holiday. That matches a career high. Now they double him. There's the cut. McDermott makes the cut. Bledsoe didn't see him coming out of the... Williamson, shot clock at four. Bataze blocked it. It hit the rim. That's why, that's why they get it back. It hit the rim. And Ball continues to make threes. That's his fourth of the quarter. Down the stretch of this game, up to 20 points. And now five of nine from beyond the arc. Right wow. back at it. Do you believe McDermott? You can't relax. You can't relax against the team. Williamson. Missed it, but tipped in by Adams. Shot clock at three. Ingram. Tough shot. 30 for Ingram and a four-point New Orleans lead. 
Goga, you know, gets some great, you get experienced. Because one of the things that can benefit you, Chris, is when you get uh, looking at the playoffs. Turner for three. Oh, it's yes. a one-point game. That's what he did also when New Orleans was he made the big three to tie it.